St Lucia really does tick all the boxes when it comes to delivering the Caribbean dream holiday. Starting with the geography, our driver and guide David gave me the overview. This is very small, only 27 miles long from north to south mm -hmm. and 14 miles from east to west. The Caribbean Sea is on the west coast and the Caribbean side would be more beaches and hotel areas. Right. And the east coast is very tropical Atlantic Ocean. Where would you say the best beaches are? I would say to the north here, the Rodney Bay area and Pigeon Island. We also have um, the VG Beach close to Castries. It's where a lot of the local people come and spend a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We also have um, a beautiful beach in Marigo Bay, which is a bay within a bay, so the water is very calm and nice. We have also Anne's Cochon, which is one of the snorkeling spots, very nice beach there also. When it comes to choosing where to stay, there are some really gorgeous properties here. My take on the hotels in St Lucia and where to choose for you. The Soufriere area for sheer escapism and romance and nature right on your doorstep. The highlights could be Ladera, which is very small, very intimate, spectacular view right between the Pitons. There's Enchastenay as well, and of course that now has its sister hotel, big sister should I say, Jade Mountain, which is pretty well the ultimate in luxury escapism. The Rodney Bay area for a bit of nightlife and restaurants if that's what you're looking for, as well as the hotel facilities. Here at Marigot Bay, I really like the fact that you've got the yacht sitting out there bobbing around and you've got access very close by to Castries. Of course, a lot of people prefer a villa holiday and there's plenty of choice here in St Lucia. There are standalone villas and also a number of resorts with villas within them. I think that's a great option because you have all the services of the hotel, but all the privacy of a villa. It's a good idea. And of course, alongside top quality accommodation comes great food. At the Tea Banan restaurant in Rodney Bay, I met up with rising star chef Richardson Skinner. I think it's fair to say the Caribbean never used to have a great reputation for its food. How's that changed? The Caribbean cuisine is becoming very popular now for many reasons. One is people are getting away from bland foods and going into the spices and the season, and we've always been known for that. And not only that, I think that there's a a change in the mentality of young chefs in the Caribbean mm -hmm. where it's becoming somewhat glamorous to be a chef so they're taking more interest in, in, in using the ingredients and really experimenting and making Caribbean cuisine make its mark in the world right now yeah. using our own um, ingredients and our own technique and what our grandmothers and grandparents used to do yeah. and, and, and really being innovative and creating new dishes with Caribbean ingredients it makes me feel very proud to be a Caribbean chef. Fantastic! <laughs> Of course, it's not just about fine dining. For the freshest local catch, the Friday night fish fry in Ancelaray is fantastic value and a great night out for both locals and tourists. For local produce and spices, head to the Castries Market, open daily but especially lively on a Saturday. I think the great thing is seeing St Lucian people just enjoying their own market and some of the storeholders are real characters. It's really fun just chatting to them about what they've got and what they're growing at home and yeah, you get a real flavour for St Lucia here. Out and about on the island, there are plenty of things to see and do. This area here you are standing inside, it is the Caribbean's only driving volcano. You have actually driven through it from Sufretan coming into here. It's not a cone volcano, but a collapsed volcano, a caldera, 12 square kilometers. In the island's lush tropical interior, there are also lots of different options for soft adventure. There's great diving from the south coast, or how about taking a scenic helicopter flight? For something a little gentler, there are also lovely gardens and waterfalls, charming picturesque villages, and the St Lucia Heritage Tourism Sites, where you can learn more about the island's history and culture. 
is Pigeon Island National Landmark. There's actually a wedding going on behind me. I'm not surprised. It's one of the most beautiful spots on St Lucia. But come May every year, the whole place comes alive with the National Jazz Festival. People come from all over the world for jazz here, but not least, it fills up with St Lucians too. I can imagine the atmosphere is great. There's the ocean on both sides of us, these beautiful atmospheric buildings, and these beautiful views. It's really gorgeous. Every tourist board has got its slogan and St Lucia's is simply beautiful and I just can't argue with that. It really does deliver and ticks every box. Gorgeous beaches, but so much more. Soft adventure, rainforest, mountains, beautiful coastline and above all, the friendly people. St Lucian's are an absolute delight.